But the sanitizer. Sanitation. Sanitation, yes. But now we have trash and no plants anymore.
Can I just get my chair? Yo, I'll have somebody talk. Hey, yo, I'll put my shit up here. Is it, is it? I'll put my shit on top of the plane. Is it okay if you put the belongings and people have a chance to get their belongings or that's not? I'll put my shit up here. Okay, I'll just wait. I, I know that person, and, and they have my chair. People, you should give people time to get their belongings. Clean the streets is what you're here to do. And not just throw people's things away. There should be time for people to take their personal belongings and their documents. That is going through your shit. That is not trash. The trash is on the floor. Clean the floor. Sanitation is not taking people's belongings, documents, passports, birth certificates. DD for DD 214s that is not clean up. Uh, that I is that job, is lack of compassion no for people that have served this government. Lack of compassion for people that have served the government. They're not cleaning. That shit if they clean it, throw all pick it all up and vote and throw that shit in trash. Why are going through this shit? That's weird. Fuck. Hey King, yo, it's Mia. Why are you leaving your stuff? Watch it not over there. 
Whose is that? That's, that's my, yours. If that's mine now, I just put my shit on top of the fucking wall. No, that is yours. That is yours. Mine is over there. That is yours. They're gonna clean it. I'm gonna get it. Is that part of the cleanup? All my clothes, all my shit. Take your stuff. I'm going to move it again, but I just moved it and put it somewhere. Move it in the alley. Put 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 Why do they have to go through people's stuff? Did they go through my stuff and see all my documents? I don't think so. They threw them right in the trash. My documents, my birth certificate, my hat, my passport. Are they looking for what? They're going to throw everything in the trash anyways. This is a lack of compassion. And this is a violation of personal property, personal rights, dignity, everything that you can do against a human being. Some of these people have served this country and you threw away their DD-214s yesterday. I just want you to put that on the record, sir. Thank you. If I wasn't here, they would have taken everybody's stuff. That's not ample time. I took everybody's stuff. Why don't you go clean up Skid Row where I stepped on shit for four days in a row? Helping my friend who is a veteran, whom I brought up here, and I stepped on shit three days in a row because it's all over the streets. And people get stabbed daily. It's an LAPD's logins. People get stabbed daily at 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m. And the people that walk the streets in Skid Row step on shit daily. And they drag that shit all over and then they drag it into the stores. Why don't you go clean that up, government? This was clean. These people aren't rats. They cleaned this yesterday. There's nothing wrong there. I don't see no excrement. Now there is because they that was fine and they threw everybody's stuff there. This street was clean. No need to clean us up again. We are not rats. We are human beings. How about you open up those chests with all the money you got assigned for the homeless? Huh? You would have your streets cleaned if you didn't clean up those chests. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, it's Patricia here. Cardigan Mountain School, honey. 1980. I'm in the streets. I don't have to be. Santa Monica police concealed the kidnapping on my child. I'm in the streets helping the people that you guys should be helping a little better. You know the money's there, Jeff. It's in the government. Get everybody a little place that is dignified. It doesn't have to be an apartment. Get somebody a little square spot to put a bed and have indoor plumbing because we are in the United States of America. This isn't China. This isn't Venezuela. This isn't India. You have the money assigned 
to group people up and give them dignified spaces. You have them in the streets and then you throw away their shit. You clean them up two days in a row while they're eating their breakfast. When they probably didn't have such an easy night because they're sleeping on a pavement. But no, you wait till the street is desolate and you clean up their documents. Thank God I saved four tents with people's personal belongings in them. And I will continue to do so. If I had gone to breakfast, I would have had the same problem. The little, the little thing I was able to gather. Are you sure? You're looking for, there's another thing, Joseph. There's another way. Uh, Lincoln, right? Yeah, on Lincoln and Flowers. Lincoln and Flowers. We'll go there right now. Lincoln you think this is right, officer? I don't think so. I know you're doing your job and I respect you. And you don't, and you don't smile. There's other officers that have smiled at our misery. That is not right. You're cool. It's like, it's like everything, unfortunately. You know, the majority of them are amazingly, you know, nice. And there's, and there's a tad bit few that laugh at people's demise. Those officers should be up reprehended. These officers should be praised. They're compassionate, they're understanding, and they're serious, and do, they're doing their job right. They're not laughing at other people's misery. I can point out two or three that yesterday when they threw out my passport and I had visual of my passport, they were laughing at me. I'd like to point them out. That's not right. That is not civic service. That is lack of compassion, and that is no respect for the dignity of a human being. Thank you. Say Joseph. Yeah. Make sure Jeff Bezos gets that. He's supposedly on Whole Foods. No, that's a lie. The government owns. I appreciate. More that we, we the people, have not created. This is a belligerent act of war against human beings, their rights, and their belongings. Some of them have nothing, and you clean up, you call it a clean up as if we were roaches and rats, and you throw away their belongings, and then they're without an EBT card, a DD-214 to go to the vet's um, offices, without their Medicare cards, then, they're fi then they find themselves at risk for a few days. That is not right. They are your human beings, they are your citizens. Please be compassionate. That's a brand new cardigan that this kid got yesterday. That's a brand new sweater somebody gave him yesterday. What is the need? You know, America loves to throw away everything that is brand new. I come from Venezuela, born in Washington, D.C. My parents are Hungarians. You should see how hard it is for a Hungarian or a Venezuelan to buy a brand new jersey. And Americans throw it away from the homeless that already have very little. That is not a rightful act. Their names, because I'm going to put in a, a complaint against them. But like, um, Thank you for coming.